Hello, I'm calling to see if you received my email about a special promotion work. You did receive it. You're not interested. Okay, thank you. Take care. If only I knew whether people opened my emails, I wouldn't have to call to follow up. Are you tired of never knowing if someone opened your emails? Yes. Then you should use tracking pixels. What are tracking pixels? Look at a screen like your computer. Anything you see on that screen is broken up into little squares called pixels. A tracking pixel is taking one of those little squares and using it as a portal to pass information. No way. How does it do that? I'll tell you. A tracking pixel is effectively a placeholder for an image. It contains code that tells a browser or email client what URL to call to find that image. But calling that URL actually delivers a blank image and instead sends information. Whoa, how does it do that? Information can be attached to a URL. If you've ever seen a URL that contained a question mark, the characters after the question mark are bits of information. Oh wow. I had no idea that- Precisely. The code that tells a browser or email client where to find an image can also collect information to add to the URL without the person visiting a web page or opening an email having any idea that this is happening. Oh, that seems- And the information collected and added to the URL can include information like a device's IP address, which can be used to identify and track a person online across devices. But I only want to know if someone opened my email. And the best part of all is that tracking pixels are not easily blocked like cookies since the pixels are embedded into emails and web pages. That doesn't seem right. Fine, they can be blocked. Google's Gmail has a setting to disable images from loading by default. Apple's mail privacy protection feature blocks tracking pixels in emails. And Apple Safari and Mozilla's Firefox web browsers feature tracking prevention options that people can enable. So, can I interest you in using tracking pixels? Oh, definitely.